everything that could have gone wrong in the last two weeks has gone wrong. Um, and now we're what? Six days out. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> He's gonna die. Project Iron Man 2022, we're here. <laughs> here we are then saturday night saturday evening the night before my half iron man i'm feeling more confident than i was this morning this morning i was a nervous wreck but i've done a lot of things today which have helped me out but the last couple of days they've been they've been actually very very good you know we we, we got into france thursday afternoon spent about four hours driving down to a lovely chateau in the, in the middle of the French countryside. A lovely, a lovely drive, I will say, in the pouring down rain. But by the time we got to the chateau, sunshine. It was beautiful. I did a light ride today, and my last swim was on the Tuesday. The last week you want to sort of be coming down. So you, you're meant to have reached your peak, rest for a bit, because you're not going to lose much fitness in a week. So you rest, you know, do a bits and bobs, like I did the swim, the light cycle ride, and then at your peak, you're ready, come race day, you're fully rested, you're fully fit, and you're ready to go. The mistake I did was I went to Red Hot Chili Peppers on Saturday and got smashed. So I'm hoping a week's passed, but I'm hoping that doesn't make a difference in the race. Maybe that's one reason I'm not gonna finish it. <laughs> we are currently loading the car with all the transition bags and the bike. We've got to take all this to the transition area, essentially the day before. Um, so dropping off the bike, dropping off the T1 bag, T2 bag and streetwear bag. So yeah, it's spent about an hour just making sure everything is in the correct bag, got all the stickers on the correct place, but we've got there finally. Let's go do it. I wish I had done like one of these Iron Man before. Like if I did a second one, I'd be so much more calm. All of this is like the unknown. I remember going into my, uh, in that first like triathlon I did, so nervous, not knowing what to do, where to put things. Exactly the same this time. Like once you do it once, I feel like you're much more relaxed. So this is like popping my uh, Iron Man virginity. Even though I'm not racing against anyone, the only person I'm racing against is myself. I don't really have any reason to be nervous. It's just quite like overwhelming. I think. I think that's what I think that's what I'm struggling with. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see where I am in the morning and tonight. I wonder if I'll be able to sleep at all. Right, I'm off to go put the, uh, the stuff in transition one. What is an Ironman 70.3? Well, it's half an Ironman. So it's a 1.9K swim, a 90 kilometer cycle, and then a half marathon, 21.1 kilometers. A total of 70.3 miles of racing. I've absolutely hit the nail on the head with this one. I've got an unbelievable location. Okay, so. It's done. T1, T2 transition all done. Seeing the transition area now has made me more confident. It was like, it was the unknown that I was scared of, I think, whereas now it's the known. And once I drop off this little bag here, we're ready to go. I don't know. I reckon there might be a few tears, you know, it might be a bit overwhelming. I don't really know how I'm going to react because it has been looming over my head for the, like, the last six, seven months. So I think it'll be very overwhelming. Plan tonight, get my dinner in me, finish off my nutrition plan and get a very early night's sleep because, as I said, it's a 4 or 5 a.m. wake up tomorrow morning. Is there a sponsor? And of course, this wouldn't be possible without the help of... I've got to say a massive thank you to HelloFresh. They have sponsored the Ironman video for me, and if I'm being honest, I've been using HelloFresh for about two to three years now. They are absolutely amazing. If you don't know what they are, it's super easy, okay? You go on their website, you're ordering a meal kit for you to freshly prepare at home. Everything is fresh. You get to choose up to two, three, or four person meals. Loads and loads of them to choose from on their website, and it arrives fresh at your door in a matter of days. So with that being said, let me cook you up a little storm. I'm loading my ingredients, ready to cook up that storm, and what do I find? A free bar of chocolate. I absolutely love HelloFresh. I've got my ingredients out. I've got my recipe, and I'm making the bulgogi beef bowl. It says make it within 20 minutes, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Pepper's done, rice about to get cooking, and I'll tell you what the best thing about HelloFresh is, the simple to use instructions. I can't cook, but I can cook with HelloFresh. I am the crusher of peanuts. HelloFresh is convenient, 
especially with how much training I was doing for the Ironman, knowing that I have a gourmet food waiting for me in 20 minutes, perfect. And I present to you my Bulgogi Beef Bowl by HelloFresh. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely sensational, made in only 20 minutes, and if you want to get yourself 60% off your first order of HelloFresh, plus 25% off two months worth of HelloFresh, use the code THEOBAKER60 at checkout. All the links are in the description down below. Terms and conditions apply, and if you want to make dinners like this, use HelloFresh. Oh my god. Oh my god, so good. That is amazing. Morning. <laughs> Not got a lot of sleep for me in the mist. Very tired this morning. Feeling a bit nervous. Mm. But um Alright, I think I'll be nice and calm when I get there, just wish I had more sleep. It's a lot of like uh your brain Our start is around eight o'clock, um, but obviously we're gonna have to get there nice and early, get a good breakfast in us. Go to the transition area, I'm guessing walk around, meet a fellow participant, say hello to the family. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a lot of probably hanging around and like nervous, nervous tension, nervous feelings. And then come eight o'clock, which is actually quite a late start. Um, it's go time, straight into the sea. The Arctic, no it's not, the Atlantic. Thank God it's not the Arctic, it's the Atlantic. Wait, see? Uh, I don't know if they'll find a spot here, maybe they will. This is the chip that makes the, the, the clock go round, as they say. Put this on my left ankle and it times it and everything. So the goal is now, I've got my tri suit on, I've got my sliders on. I did actually, I've forgotten my, uh, my streetwear bag for after the race, so. I'm basically I'm gonna to have to give my bag to Jodie and she's gonna carry it all day sadly. But um, at least I haven't forgotten anything important, most importantly. But yeah, I'm gonna drop off my two water bottles into my bike now and then it's uh, a walk down to the to the starting line. I'm wearing a little bum bag with all my gel things because I couldn't fit them all in my actual suit. But I think looking at everything on the bike, the thing is to do is have a little pouch on your bike under your seat so you're not wearing it down if that makes sense. But yeah, that's why you do these things to learn, and this is my first time, and uh, we're learning on the go. That feels colder than yesterday, that's for sure. I'm gonna go do a bit of a warm up in the, uh, in the sea, do a bit of like running. Try and get as warm as I can so I'm not cold going into the water. But you know what? There's so many people here, like the swim doesn't look, I was a bit nervous about the swim being like crazy start and like getting trampled, but it looks pretty all right, you know? So yeah, we're ready now, we're ready. All right, this is it. This is everything we've, we've led up to this moment. All right, see you on the other side, lads. Michel Roland dans cette catégorie, âgé de 80 ans, qui est donc de la tête de plus âgée. On va voir si on a quelques minutes de bord. The swim is definitely the hardest thing for me. And I think if I get through the swim, I genuinely think like I'm just cruising. 
If I get through the swim, I'll complete the whole thing. If I get through the first 400 meters, I think I'll just settle into a nice rhythm and we'll, we'll get out the other side. You know, I've done a marathon on no training. If I think back to how much pain I was in for that marathon no training, then weirdly enough, this should be okay. out the water and then actually I, I I'm pretty sure there's like a bonus 200 meter run so it's actually a, 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 I think a 200 meter run to the transition area where we have socks on obviously getting the wetsuit off shoes on making sure I've got everything from my t1 transition bag for the bike so including all the nutrition the bars the gels making sure I've got all of that and then hop on the bike and we and we're, and we're flying basically I did the swim faster than I expected, I did it in 45 minutes. Nice. And, and it freestyle the whole way. So, getting stronger and stronger, I feel good, I'm really good actually. So you've got to keep up the spirits, keep up the energy, get the nutrition on board. And that's a 90k bike. The cycle is 90 kilometers. As I said, I want to do it in around three hours, three and a half tops, which is an average of 30 kilometers an hour. I'm hoping I do that. And actually the cycle for me is the most important bit because I obviously, as I said, I've done a VO2 max, I've done a sweat test. And even though I'm not a heavy sweater, I am a heavy calorie burner. I burn a lot of calories. So on the bike, I am doing a gel and a bake alternating every half an hour. So I'm doing a lot. I'm, I'm trying to consume as much calories as possible because on the bike, it's the easiest place to get those calories on board. Obviously a lot of water and electrolytes as well. But for me, it's gonna be eating regularly on the bike to set myself up and put me in the best possible state for the run. I hope we can uh, continue this pace and keep the spirits high. <laughs> oh, we've upgraded the bike this year. Oh my goodness me, we dropped money but I had to my bike I was using previously it was a good road bike but it wasn't good enough for an Ironman to keep up with it like yes people will use any bike like people will use any bike but for me if I'm being honest like I need any help I can get and ever since I bought this new Cannondale System 6 
it has been unbelievable. It's like a spaceship. Like you just you just fly through the air. Nothing stops me. You're just cutting through the air. It's, fun. I, it's the best, one of the best things I've ever bought in my life. I absolutely love it. That will definitely help me and make a difference on this ride, I think, especially over 90 kilometers. Once the cycle's over, whack off the shoes, whack on the running shoes, and you've got a half marathon to do. I mean, it just sounds brilliant, doesn't it? 21.1 kilometers. I've actually ran no more than 12K in my, in my practice. You know, last summer I was doing like 15, so I know I can do it. And I also know that when it gets to those dark points, like with the, like running the marathon, I know that my body will just keep left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. It's all about timing. That's why I wanna, my goal is to basically survive the swim, annihilate the cycle, go as fast as I can and just leave nothing left on the bike and just hope that my brain can just take me through the run. That bike literally almost broke me, so restart now. Start again. 21k. Really look at the course. Let's recover. Nice job, has been training really hard since last August. He decided last August after the CIFA triathlon that he was going to do this. He's worked incredibly hard and had to cope with injuries as ever. Running regularly, cycling, swimming, he's come down to Seaford and swum in the sea quite a lot. And he's really persevered. I'm a very proud dad today. Uh, Theo's got a great attitude in life and he's a great example to all the young guys around who he sets himself a fantastic number of different challenges and this is probably the big high point. To do this event is just staggering. I wouldn't even contemplate it. Growing up, he's always been sort of driven to, to sort of exceed the limits. Um, and now I think he's at a time where, you know, this is just, this is what he wants to do. And once he puts his mind to something, he's, uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna smash it. Uh, he's doing incredibly well. Uh, I'm filming him going into the water and you know we've been tracking him on the app and I mean I just can't wait to watch him cross the line. He was worried that he wouldn't complete within eight hours so I probably would have just said that he definitely would do it. He's been training really hard. Uh, there was no way he wasn't going to complete it. Okay Thea you're doing really really well so good luck, keep going, keep cycling hard, keep running and you're doing really well. Love you, darling. We're looking forward to seeing you coming in triumphant at the end of this event. It's been great, uh, keep it up. And I can't wait to have a beer and a, a celebration with you later. You've done amazing so far. Well done, Theo, very proud. <laughs> I 
I, I, I'm actually scared, you know, because like, I keep thinking about the moment of crossing the line and I feel like I'm going to be a blubbering mess. Because I, I, I'm going to be in the bin. I think, because it, it, honestly, this training is like, it really has taken its toll. Like, it's actually been quite a stress, I can't lie, like saying no to a lot of things. And it's always on your mind. So every time I go out for a drink, even if it's one beer, it's always at the back of your mind. Everything, I can't just relax. It's always like, mm, should you be doing that? Should you be doing that? Then you have Ironman training to do. And I just, I can't wait for this to be done. I cannot wait for this to be over. 640. What was that? 640. Fucking hell. Oh. That is beating my time by like. That is the. I couldn't even imagine doing that time. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking blubbering mess. Oh, that was, that was hard. That was really hard. <sighs> Let's go find the family, eh? Oh, thank you, boys. You lot put in a shift. Okay, we are back at the hotel now and I've got my high-priced Normatech 2.0 compression boots on. I can't lie, I'm on like that verge of like cramping, but not quite cramping. I, I'm still in disbelief how I haven't cramped and that is thanks to Luke's nutrition for me. He's absolutely smashed it. Like without being too deep, like I ended it and my pee was still clear. That's how much I was hydrating. Overall, six hours 40 was my time. Very, 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 happy with that. I just felt really confident. Like the more I swam, the better I felt. The one thing I will say is that I put my goggles under my sw swim cap. Highly recommend it because I went past someone whose goggles had flown off because they were obviously warm over their swim cap and he was having to breaststroke like head up the water. And honestly, I couldn't think of anything worse, but I got a PB in the swim, 45 minutes. I couldn't believe how fast I swam. That's so, so gassed. Um, the bike, I just went, to be honest, on the bike, I just went as hard as I could, and I was the whole my whole plan was go as hard as you could on the bike, feel the pain for the last 15k, Sam. You all know I was, <laughs> I was in hell for that last 15k. But yeah, the plan was to go as hard as I could on the bike. Did it in like 3:18, I think it was, um, and I was just hoping that I had enough in the tank to complete the run. But that it would end up being a two-loop course, in my word. That's long. That's the longest two-loop course of my life. That start of the run was absolutely horrific. Added like six minutes onto my time because I had to go to a, a proper toilet. Huh? About 7K in, I had to go for a shit. Um, and obviously I stopped for like water and to get sprayed down, which is really, really nice. Overall, I, like, I'm so happy with my time. I, I did so much better than I thought I was gonna do. Like it just shows you, no matter how much you trained, your body will always go that one step further, whether that's up in the mind or in the legs. This round my head. Is yeah, it means everything. And uh, what next? That's the question. I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> a full Ironman is like you don't train for a full Ironman. Like it's, it's a it's a life. It's a life. Do you know what I mean? Like an Ironman, you have to change your entire life. You're doing like 25 hours of training a week. How anyone does an Ironman is is insane. Like it's actually insane. And then again. Or if you start training the distances for a full Ironman, you become accustomed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, it's going to count to me doing an Ironman. <laughs>